D7 days and counting to decision 2014 and the races are intensifying as the candidates are flooding into West Michigan. New at six, political reporter Rick Albin here with how the Democrats think they can win and how they hope to get there. Rick. Brian, it's pretty easy. Democratic Party Chairman Lon Johnson repeats his mantra everywhere he goes. There are more Democrats than Republicans in Michigan, he says, and the key to winning is pretty simple. Get them to vote. For the second time in 72 hours, Democrats rallied the faithful to preach the gospel of turnout in West Michigan. After a disappointing 2010, they're working double time to turn out what they believe are majority Democrats who opted out four years ago. From a new app to get an absentee ballot to another that will allow you to identify friends and neighbors likely to vote Democratic and let you contact them directly. That is the vehicle. But what about the message? Prior to Rick Snyder coming into office, pensions were not taxed under the income tax. That is part of why Democrats say Governor Snyder should go. I don't know how you slice and dice it, but that is a tax increase on people who are on fixed incomes. The pension tax, of course, doesn't impact all pensions. For those it does, Shower says, it costs from one to $3,000 a year in income taxes. These are the kind of issues that Democrats think will turn out the vote. The key to their win, they say. Their candidate for attorney general even invoked the name of a former Republican governor, Bill Milliken, saying he worked for the right thing, not the political thing. I just think we're so far from that today. I think, you know, I think my opponent, Bill Schutte, is wrong on the issues, but I also think his whole approach to politics is wrong as well. That's not the spirit we need to actually solve the problems that real people in our state face. Yes, we can do this. Secretary of State candidate Godfrey Dillard repeatedly echoed the chairman's sentiments when he told the crowd at the UAW headquarters in Grand Rapids Township, when Democrats vote, they win. The Democrats do not get to campaign in a vacuum, of course, and we are just now about to see those races kick into high gear, which means a lot of Republican visits, too. But with polls showing the major contests within the margin of error, it looks like the next eight weeks will be a very busy, if not the busiest, election cycle that we've seen statewide in some time.